Let's do this. Okay, so Saturday, senior day, and uh, you play Incarnate Word and get a you know a nice tune-up victory over those guys. And what's great is that you play these guys again to start the tournament. So you know how I guess really the mindset just as far as game planning, how convenient is that? Uh, you know we've been in this situation before. Uh, we had a postponement with Lamar earlier on in the season, so we played them on a Wednesday Saturday. Uh, so it really kind of set us up for knowing what to do in this situation. This is a, a Saturday Wednesday turnaround against the same opponent, and uh, we're you know we we have kind of mulled over the game film to see what corrections and adjustments we need to make. Uh, but it's kind of fun, you know their, their personnel is not going to change. Uh, so we've got that down and uh, just, you know, looking forward to facing them again. We know it's going to be a hard fought battle just like it was on Saturday, um, but kind of a neat opportunity just to have a quick turnaround. Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, uh, looking at the tournament, you know, you play Incarnate Word and then we were talking with Zach, you kind of know oh, yeah. who you play going throughout the tournament. So do you see an advantage in that as opposed to the buys in the tournament? I think this year there there is a huge advantage to playing early on. We know every opponent throughout the course of the, the bracket, except for the championship. So we are already getting our scattering ports ready because we know you know, if we survive in advance, we know who we're gonna play next. Um, this year, because of COVID protocol, no one gets a shoot around, no one gets a practice. And so each time we face another opponent, we will have uh, been in the gym a lot longer than they have, made shots, had success in there. And so I think uh, you do have an advantage if, if you've played a game or two under your belt before you face your next opponent. Uh, I may be a little biased because I've seen you guys play most of your games, but it's not the typical seven seed. You guys have given SFA a run for their money a, a couple times as much as anybody has. Do you feel like uh, that's, that seed doesn't really reflect what you guys are capable of? Uh, you know, we really put ourselves in this situation. We, we dropped three games in one week. And, uh, you know, just win one of those games, and it makes a huge difference in the seeding. Uh, the race is so tight in our league. Um, SFA obviously had a phenomenal season, went undefeated. Everybody else kind of beat each other. And, uh, you know, we're, we're fine with the seven, feet, uh, seven seed. You know, I think our players are really excited about getting to the tournament and um, starting, you know, that first game. Uh, just uh, being able to get there and, and compete. You know, some teams won't arrive for several more days. And so um, I, I think it worked out fine for us. Obviously, you'd like to, to be, um, you know, finish the season as highly seeded as you can. But we're fine with the seven seed. I do think that um, we could make a legitimate run in the tournament. I think we've got the, the players to do that. Um, but everyone is going to bring their, their A game to Katie. And so we have to be able to follow suit and do that as well. We need our starters to be ready to start the game out well. Um, we need the, our entire team to really pay attention to detail and be really focused. Uh, these games could all come down to one or two possessions. And we've been in a lot of those this year. We've been in a lot of games that came down to the last minute of the game. And Hopefully that experience will help us out in the tournament. On Sunday, last minute, subbing out some of the veterans, some of the seniors. I saw the whole hug line from you down the bench for Anna and everybody. What was the emotions like today? Uh, you know, this senior class has um, endured a, a season like like no other senior class before them. It's been crazy. Just all the disruptions, the postponements, you know, the uh, isolation, quarantine, injuries. Uh, our, tra our travel has continued to just be crazy, um, and our senior years have just persevered through that. I mean, they've kept their focus on leading our team. Uh, our four seniors are the captains for our team this year, and uh, we give them a lot of credit for um, just our team being able to face adversity and handle it and move on to the, the next challenge. Um, so we were, we were happy that we could honor them before the game, able to get them in and pull them all out at the same time so our fans could give them a standing ovation. And uh, to win our last game at home was really special as well for our program, for those seniors too. And uh, with that last win, obviously it's good for the seniors, but I remember late, I think uh, Cameron got a steal and I panned over to you and you were just so happy clapping. How big was it to get back in the win column heading into Katie after, uh, after the skid before that? You know, I think it was really important that we end our season on a win just so that we have some momentum and get some confidence back going into the conference tournament.
like right now? How's their response right now? Yeah, uh, you know, we were super excited to get the win on Saturday and, and just uh, know that we can do that if we put put a complete game together. Uh, we had a, a business meeting yesterday with our team over a good dinner and uh, just kind of looked at what the week's going to look like for us. And, and we want to be in Katy all week long. We don't want to come back early. We want to be there all week. And our players understand that that's going to take a lot of focus. Um, uh, everyone on the team being all in, being totally committed. And uh, they came into practice today, kind of bouncing off the walls. Everybody's got a ton of energy. Um, part of that is it's spring break. You know, this is what we're doing. We're playing basketball and just hanging out together. Um, but I think they're really excited about going to uh, Katie and playing in the tournament. And we feel like we, we gave away some wins through the regular season. And uh, this is an opportunity for us to, you know, end well, like end with some more wins, uh, end playing the way we know we can play.